I'm Aaron Gloss. And I'm Bethany. I grew up in Asia as an MK, and I have always had a passion for missions. In high school, our school took a lot of mission, short-term mission trips, and uh, that really heightened my desire to work on the mission field full-time. And so I went to Moody Bible Institute, where I met Erin. In high school, I got interested in missions because I started reading through a bunch of different missionary biographies. And um, it was when I was a senior in high school that I decided that I wanted to be a missionary. And so I chose Moody to attend, and that's we where we met. We were married, and we've been married for 18 years, and we have five children. My name is Jason, and I'm nine. I'm Caleb, and I'm 11. I'm Ellie and I'm 12. I'm Ben and I'm 14. I'm Maddie and I'm 15. And we'll bring you Charlie too. During the um, course of our marriage, we tried going on the missions field uh, probably three or four times. And every single time we tried, God very plainly and very um, obviously told us that the time wasn't quite right, we needed to wait. Uh, about three years ago, uh, I was at church with the kiddos. Aaron actually had to work that day. I heard our missions pastor give a sermon um, and he was talking about missions and God was really tightening on my heart again. So I went up to him and talked to him about the possibility of us pursuing missions again. This time God threw the doors wide open and it's been a complete whirlwind ever since. We started meeting with our missions pastor, Pastor Danny, and um, we did a period of discipleship for about six months and then after that he decided that we were ready to apply to a mission organization. So he introduced us to uh, World Team, and World Team uh, was a mission organization that our church was starting to heavily partner with, and so we were hoping to look at them. And so we filled out an application to World Team. Um, on that application, they had a questionnaire asking us who they would like us or who we would like to work with and when we filled out the questionnaire um, we rated Muslims at a 2 and every other religion at a 10. The only reason we did this is because growing up um, I had done some short-term teams to different Muslim areas and it was uh, pretty uncomfortable for a teenage girl and since we have two teenage girls we decided that we would rather wait until they were out of the house before we went into a Muslim community again. After filling out the application online with World Team, they had a Skype with the director in Cambodia, and um, when we got on the Skype call with them, they said, so we hear you want to work with Muslims. And <laughs> we were like, uh, wait a second, we think you're holding that chart upside down. <laughs> but um, after they had talked to us about 45 minutes about a people group called the Cham. We kind of hung up and we were kind of confused about the whole conversation. Um, so for about the next three months, we kept praying about which mission organization that God would want us to go with. Um, because our decision was between World Team or Beth's parents' mission organization, which was OC. and. Um, we just could not get any clarity on it. And after about three months of praying, we looked at each other and we realized this has nothing to do with a mission organization. It has to do with who God wants to send us to to take the gospel to. And at that point, we both looked at each other and at the same time said, God keeps bringing the charm back to our hearts. So almost two years ago, we went to Cambodia as a whole family. We took all five of our kids. Uh, because of their age, we wanted to make sure that this was gonna be a good fit for them as well. And we um, were able to spend a whole week in Cambodia. We met 30 different missionaries while we were there. And we uh, were also able to be introduced to the Chan people. And during that time, that really um, affirmed our desire uh, and our passion to reach to these people, um, and it made us fall even more in love with them. The Cham 
are a people group who live in Cambodia currently. Um, they originally had their own country in the southern end of Vietnam and were constantly at war with Vietnam. Vietnam eventually did conquer them in the 1500s and at that point most of them were driven into Cambodia where they live as a separate people group at this Cambodia point. is an extremely dark country. Um, there, It's less than 1% Christianity both with um, the national Cambodians and with the Cham. Um, and so we, we really need a lot of prayer support. Uh, we need a lot of uh, people that are willing to come alongside with us and uh, keep us um, in their prayers on a, on a daily basis. Uh, as far as support goes, we are at 93%. Um, we have been support raising for the last year and a half, and uh, we are hoping to um, we're hoping to be in country as soon as the travel bans are lifted from the virus. Thank you so much for giving us this time to be able to talk to you and to share our story with you and uh, letting you get to know us a little bit. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.